look scared in the Crown Victoria. Yeah, they're laughing. These guys aren't laughing. Where? In the country squire. What does it matter what they're doing in other cars? I want to know how scared I should be. I read the novel when I was about 19, and I just couldn't believe how wonderful it was. I thought it was hilarious and brilliant, and I, I wanted to quote a line from every single page. It was just so outrageously funny, and, 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 I, and I loved it. So when Noah started reading it to think about doing it, and I got to read it again, I was reminded of how truly wonderful it is. The book takes place in 1985 and you know was written in the early 80s and somehow has that unique feeling about it where it feels like it could have been written about whatever just happened in the world. You know, I think if it wasn't the pandemic, it would feel timely in another way, but it is, it is uncanny. You know, I think that what's so interesting about what Noah does and what he creates and allows for is that each character has nuance because that's what makes up a human being, right, is all the ticks that they have. So I just love that she was allowed to be this quirky person. She was always eating junk food, always drinking chocolate milk and just like so distracted by her work always that, I mean, you know, she was strange and I, I like that. Noah's amazing, he's one of a kind. Um, I've never worked like that before. Everything was kind of meticulous and choreographed. You kind of had this like security that when you arrive on the day you know what you're doing, which is a, a nice position to be in. Nothing's going to be thrown at you, so yeah, it was amazing. I always say Greta makes me want to be a much smarter person. Um, Adam makes me want to be a much better actor. He's incredible and um, it was amazing to getting to work with them both. I think that's a, I feel really privileged to have done that. Well, Babette is quite literally a mystery, so it was um, very exciting, but it was also you know, a lot to take on. It was sort of about building all these layers of who she was. Well, it has more people, it has more stunts, but the storytelling aspects are essentially the same if you're moving two people around in a room or you're directing a mass exodus from a Boy Scout camp uh, while a giant toxic cloud comes after them. You know, you're just telling a story you're getting from A to B. Um, there are a few British actors in it, um, which is also great. Um, but, you know, the London Film Festival is my home festival. It's one of the best festivals in the world. Films like this need festivals like this to have a life that they deserve. And uh, the London Film Festival is sort of integral in giving opportunities and a showcase for films that need to be seen, that deserve to be seen, and will be seen them to have fun and and and, and then also they, while they have fun they'll also maybe uh, realize they're all going to die sometime <laughs>